This week, we've seen referees score worldies. A Ukrainian woman midfielder turned into an assassin after this foul was dubbed the most cynical in football history. And this A-League player showed us what it's like to play football with a ball glued to your shoe. Welcome to the Weekly Wrap, your Friday roundup of football's biggest news from the past five days. I'm your host this week, Ollie Barefoot. My socials are here, so go check me out. Let's get into it. Not all relationships are smooth sailing, and Dulux Paint and Tottenham Hotspurs are a perfect example of one that hasn't started off great. Just hours after Spurs announced their new partnership with the nation's number one paint brand, the paint company decided to interact with social media users' reaction in the most bizarre way possible. Taken to social media, Dulux used everything from Photoshop to their own dog mascot to tarnish the image of the football team they now sponsor. Weird move. Dulux have since removed the post, however, after clearly realising they were barking up the wrong tree. Nothing. Come on. From one London team to another, an Arsenal star striker, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, has been treated in hospital for malaria. The 31-year-old Gabon international was said to have contracted the virus while on international duty last month. The former Brussels Dortmund goalscorer took to Twitter to let his fans know that he was going to be okay, saying, I'm already feeling much better every day, thanks to the great doctors that detected and treated the virus so quickly. Thankfully, the mosquito spread virus isn't contagious and the player should be back fit and healthy and playing again soon. This week also saw Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's son Noah hit back at Jose Mourinho's claims that the Manchester United manager is a bad father after the goal controversy in United's 3-1 win over Tottenham on Sunday. Solskjaer and Mourinho's row started off following different views on Human Son's controversial reaction to a trailing Scott McTominay arm which resulted in a disallowed goal. If my son stays down like this for three minutes and he gets ten of his mates around him, to, uh, to if, if he gets that in the face from his one of his other mates and he get, needs ten mates to uh, to help him up, yeah, he won't won't get any food. A statement that Jose Mourinho didn't take well, calling Son lucky that Solskjaer isn't his father. But Solskjaer's real son Noah has come to his dad's rescue after telling a local Norwegian newspaper that. I always get food. I can assure everyone about that. I have never been lying down the way Son did. Mourinho probably just wanted to take the focus away from the fact that they had lost. And that wraps up the weekly wrap. Boom boom. Have a good weekend and see you next week. Cringe.